There's a lot of questions out there now that we're back on Hoth. Some people may ask, was the Empire wrong? Did they do anything wrong? Others might ask, did Luke know Leia was his sister when he kissed her? Did Han shoot first? All of these things are very important Star Wars questions. But one of the ones that I want to ask is what if the Rebel Alliance, yeah, these guys who are all blue because it's Ravenfield. Hello there. What if they had AC-130 gunships in the Battle of Hoth? Let's, let's ask the important questions. Look at this, I got, I got little binoculars. Uh, we're calling it an aerial assault right there. Where, where's the big guy? Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. This, this doesn't seem right. It's his. This isn't World War II, these aren't B-17s. My God, are they raining down absolute poop sandwiches on these guys. Let's try that again because uh, I'm pretty sure this one is broken. Oh, what, what, oh, I didn't, what is happening? Okay, well, they're definitely doing it to it. Am I getting these kills? Look at this. Oh, 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 That that's good guys, we, called in the strike that destroys everybody. Don't worry, we have three different AC-130s we're gonna be using today. I think respawning in the trenches was a mistake. Okay. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is broke, quit. I like how it says airstrike fixed. Like, buddy, that ain't fixed. So let's try this again. We line up for our attack run. We let that thing fly, hope it hits somebody. We've already got five kills, not bad. We're gonna take this berm, and, and it, since we don't see a thousand AC-130s, oh my god, uh, flying by, I think we're good. Maybe. They don't see me. They can't see me. I'm a Jedi. Unless they execute Order 66. It's sort of like the Empire's reverse Uno card. Gunship, deployed. Press J. Okay, now this is the other variant of AC-130, our second of three, where I get to take command of this thing. All right, so we got a minigun. Now, remember I started with five kills. <laughs> so this is the 25 millimeter Vulcan. We should have a 40 and then, was it a 75 millimeter howitzer? I don't know what those are. It's almost like Call of Duty, but like on a Game Boy Advance, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> all right, so here's our 40 millimeter. Let's zoom in a little bit and slow-mo. Oh, there's my speeder. I don't really see anybody. Okay, never mind. I do. So this is like a 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher from a plane. Can you just imagine like all the enemy combatants that these things were used on? You just thought like, you woke up one day and like God just decided to like, well, I mean, smite you, I guess, <laughs> using the American Air Force. I think the 25 millimeter is definitely far more effective. You have left it. I didn't, I did not leave the AC-130. So I'm sitting at 49 kills. The AT-ATs are spread out. One's already in the trench. We need to target them. And if that's gonna work, we're gonna need to get back in this thing and use the 75 millimeters and see if those work. Cause when you look at the side of that thing, wait till you see the third version, we are going to fly the AC-130. It's gonna be exciting. I haven't done it in a long time. All right, so 25 millimeter goes and everything dies. Especially if you get a really, really good one. Oh, it's 105 millimeter. All right, I'm going to attempt to target the AT-AT -AT with this cannon. Big boom. I love, okay, okay. Whoa, guys, we have firing solutions. Uh, AC-130, I, I don't wanna look that way. Oh my gosh. Each hit is multiple kills. What we need to do is actually look the other way because we've used them on basically non-operable AT-ATs, like look at that guy. He's having a bad time. It's, uh, the dog decided to take a nap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, okay. We uh, we committed Sudokus. I actually need to be at a different spot. It's an ambush. <laughs> He's like, wait, what happened to Bob? Nothing, nothing happened to Bob. Don't look this way. Oh God, that guy's got a bazooka. He's dead. And all the stormtroopers are like, you know, we actually did target practice, but apparently, see, this is, uh, so did I. This is Jedi slow motion. Okay, 
We need to tactfully redeploy though, so that we can get firing solutions on the AT-ATs because they are crushing our forward trenches. Oh, one of the AT-ATs just went down. That was the one we hit with the 75 where we also hit all our friends too. All right, so to add greater emphasis on hopefully not killing my friends, I am gonna stay up here. We're gonna be up in this trench. So if I'm not careful, I'll, I'll kill myself and, and nobody wants that. <laughs> I have to be the one to save the Rebel Alliance. Switch to 105. Now that one looks operable. Please don't kill my friends. I got a, a hit on something. Claw? Claw from like Marvel? All I know is he's a card Marvel Snap. That game is so fun. Okay. When you get two hits on the ATAT, -AT, I think I'm picking up heat signatures in the head. Yeah, but two hits seem to be disabling. Oh, that's on the Tukus. It doesn't fire in slow-mo. Okay, that's two hits. We need three, I guess. I was like, does this thing just not fire in slow-mo? Oh, that was like right in the troop bay. Did you guys see that? That's an incredible shot. Not that I planned it. <laughs> I'm a Jedi. You know, these things just come naturally to us. Until, uh, you know, we all get wiped out. And then Yoda hides in a swamp. And he's like, you know what? I'm out of here, dude. This is, this is called retirement. This is so... Difficult. Well, we're only at 55. The, it says we destroyed it. That is a lie. I'm gonna see if 25 millimeters can do it. E Those are just such easy icons to see. There we go. No, we're gonna do 40 mils. Disabled at, -AT. Okay. That's fantastic. Let's see. Oh, look at it burning. Oh, we destroyed it. Okay, and stormtroopers in red uniforms, like like the British. The British are coming, are coming in. You know what I think it's time for? The third AC-130. But in order for that, I think we need a fresh start and we need to spawn back at the hangar and I'm gonna try something that is probably dumb, but we're gonna try it out. Spawn in AC-130 spooky. Oh, 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 it kind of spawned in, in the hangar, in Echo Base hangar. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna end well, is it? Am I stuck on something? Yeah, my wing is in... <laughs> okay, well, we, we attempted it, and that's kind of what matters. Gentlemen, you are my unsuspecting victims. I mean, my, my crew members. Yes, I need you. I'm pretty sure an AC-130 is gonna need multiple crew. Look at this guy. This is borderline dereliction of duty. You should be court-martialed for licking ice walls. I just realized that that AC-130 is gonna block the spawn of our snow speeders. Is there a Star Wars equivalent to an AC-130 gunship? Okay, this is better. We actually have a, a bit of a runway. Everybody, everybody get in here. We're, we're, none of us are gonna make it back alive. It's gonna be great. It's just a 15 minute adventure. All right, everybody in? Guys, get in it. Uh, I don't think they can. Maybe this isn't crew. Okay, well, sorry guys, who needs crew? Now I just wanna say, when you look at the terrain I just took off on, that's impressive. Granted, it's Ravenfield flight models, uh, you know, and uh, physics, but it still counts. But look at how many guns this thing is bristling with. It should usually, I thought I had twin 25s. Well, it's got one 25 millimeter Vulcan, the 40 millimeter auto cannon, and then the 105 millimeter howitzer. So how does this work? Oh, firing out the side of it. Oh, that's cool. I can't really aim too well. But you know what? When you got this much firepower, you can just kind of cover the battlefield and hope to hit somebody. And then all you gotta do is make sure you're turning. This is really tricky to be both the gunner and the pilot, but we are doing it. Boom, right at his feet. Was it good? No. Was it fun? Yes. All right, and fire. Just. Big mix of stormtroopers kill one. Okay, I feel like that meme from Minions with the little like clipboard or whatever that thing is. Trying for direct hits on an AT-AT. I, I do gotta say that this is impressive that this thing just kind of fires and I think I can steer the plane this way. So with a little bit of skill and practice, this is pretty dang viable, but I'm not able to hit that AT-AT. <laughs> I'm like firing through its legs. There's a hit. No, it's not a hit. That at is down, this one's full, fire. Oh, fire. This is so fun. I mean, it makes you wonder when you watch Star Wars why the Empire never had stuff like this. Or even the Rebels. Well, the Rebels wouldn't be able to have air superiority, right? 
All right, we're switching. E <laughs> Look at that poor thing, man. Looks like a uh, armadillo's getting attacked by like a million mosquitoes at once. But the mosquitoes explode, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we destroyed it. Oh my gosh. We're at 23 now after the restart. And we're just now starting to work on just like dishing out the pain. I think it's safe to say that right now, the rebels would not lose the Battle of Hoth. So long as no TIE fighters were scrambled to shoot this thing down, because it's kind of interesting. Like, that's one thing I've never understood. Like, why didn't the Empire use air superiority on Hoth? You know, they could have sent TIE bombers, TIE fighters. All right, switching to 40 mils. I think these are 40 mils. Yeah, with like the amount of fire. So we've seen three different AC-130s. One just didn't work. Well, it did work actually, but it also just broke the game. And then these two both, oh, hello. I'm glad I, I realized that the horizon was uh, was approaching me, which is not good when you're in a plane. So now all we gotta do is go back, say hello to the princess, hope nobody gets wampered. And <laughs> perfect landing. We just saved Echo Base from the Empire. And this, I guess, answers the question. What if the Rebels had AC-130s at the Battle of Hoth? What else? What other challenges and scenarios should we try in Ravenfield? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.